We're live. Are we live? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't say we're live. I don't know how this works. Hmm. You're live. Okay. This says we're live. Yeah. It works. It works. Can't see myself. Oh, okay. We're behind. Oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. You're live. Okay. Oh, let me turn it down. Yeah. I don't know how to work this stuff, so. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where's the chat at on here? Can we call Do, yeah, I guess I can comment down here. Go easy on us. <laughs> there we go. We're learning. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see it. Let me uh, make a moderator real quick. Just a second, everybody. Can everybody hear us okay? Um, you guys can hear us okay? Oh, I'm just saying. Okay, they can hear us. Good. We'll do that. So we've got, let me go back got up. everything there. Go there we go. The I chat. can see the chat on here now, so you don't okay. have to look at that. Very good. I got it all figured out now, I think, except for some people put a message up on the, on the screen. All right, I think I made Flat Tire Farm a moderator so she can kick any trolls out. I doubt we have any trolls. <laughs> you never know. Never know. We got popcorn. We can't really share through the screen, but we're not going to eat it. Let the kids do that. Thank you. Yes, I am. Oh, I am beautiful. Thank you. So that's Crystal, I believe. Thank you. Hi, D. Hi, Break D. Bake. Yes. With some sourdough yeah. recipes, make sure you check out Breaks Bake. Definitely. Matt, Nick, Matt AK. Billy Kiwi. Sutton, Kiwi Man. I think he was the first one in, but without popcorn, so he popped him some. Yes, Crystal has the power. She can wield the hammer. You say hi. Can you say hi. I say hi. No, no, it's not gonna do it. Just yeah. so, so the boys. Oh you know, uh, yeah, we went live so late our time, so we could have the younger boys okay. asleep. Hey, hey. Because it's kind of crazy Good sometimes. Morning. You can take that in a minute, buddy. Okay, yeah. Hi. So, hi. Hi. Hello. How long till the bus will be finished? Let me test this out on this. Boom. There it is. Um, I'm hope. I'm hoping in the next couple weeks it'll be done. We're, I didn't put a video out this week because I thought we we're going live, so I didn't really force one out. Um, but I'm hoping the next few weeks it'll be done. It's insulated, floors in, we're building stuff on the inside. So I'm hopeful. <laughs> but so far, there's been a lot of uh, snags along the, ways, along the way. See what else we got. Six, six boys in your family. 
like you're one of six boys. Is that what you're saying, Matt? Prepping dinner. That's understandable. It's only uh, like six o'clock there, I think. Hi Rachel. Be... <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Yes, kids in bed by seven. I like that. Hi, Johnny. Don't worry about the children. We love them. Ours are grown independent. Yeah, it won't be too long. Billy Sutton. It's always kind of crazy. Yes. Hi, Billy. Thanks for watching all our videos today. I'm behind the shed. I'm just figuring out how this works. Yes. We hope you enjoyed them. Why? Yeah, so the. Where are you going first once the bunch is okay? So, you can take the popcorn and eat if you want. Um, don't say I don't. I'm not sure if I want to announce where we're planning on going first, or do you guys think we'd better if I, we just announce it like on a live, or if we like just do a video surprising everybody where we're going? What do you guys think? I was just going to do a video, but Christy wanted to talk about it in a live, so I it's got a full battery. Yes. Total. Hello, Matthew's Bushcraft. That's our oldest son. Yeah, let's subscribe. subscribe to him. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to my order of water or else. Don't know. Yeah. So some people in here probably know where we're going. If you know, don't say it yet because we don't know where we're announcing it. Oh, don't fall down. Surprise. Wait. Oops. Surprise is a good too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll do another live when we're leaving, seeing where we're going, maybe. Would that be good or should I do it in a video? What do you guys think? Do what? Bye. We are going to be full time at least for a little bit in it. Yeah. Johnny, I'm not snitch. So it looks like most people are saying surprise. So if it's a surprise, should we do it just in a video and everybody see it, or should we do a live stream when we're leaving? What do you guys think? Let's even show that. Live when we're about to leave. <laughs> Live when. <laughs> video. JNA review said a video. Do a live and then add on to the video. Yeah. And Matt's been talking about doing a cargo trailer. We we knew somebody that kind of did one, but it wasn't uh, what I would do to it. But they they live in it for quite a while. But a lot of people do that. I've seen people do cargo trailers, U-Hauls, buses. They'll uh, get an old camper and gut it. When are we leaving? No. Huh? Oh, when you're leaving. Okay, got it. Yeah. Eating? Shorts. We're not really big on shorts. We do some. But um, the short viewers don't tend to stick around and watch the the longer videos, typically. Sometimes they do. In the, uh, In the hours don't count on those either. Another right? live will be good. For yeah, so just you. So you can do a lot smaller rig than most people. Do a live stream when you get there. I'm never that far ahead on videos. I'm I'm terrible. It, it takes me a long time to edit. Or I would. Come here. If I was that well planned out where I had a bunch of videos done, just wait till we're there to do it. I'll be right back. How about doing a U-Haul? But I like having a separate view. Yes. That's the problem. Some people... I've seen do the bus, the schoolie conversion. And then um, we watched one family. I can't remember the name of their bus and their social. But um, they didn't have a tow vehicle like the first year they went or even another vehicle that they took with them. And there was a lot of places they couldn't go because their bus was so big. It's been turning a cargo trailer in a camper. No video evidence. <laughs> yeah. You should make a video on that. That'd be interesting. I like seeing that kind of stuff.
Yes, gotta get that on film. Do we need to get her? She's fine. She's okay. Yeah. You guys are doing one mad respect for everything. <laughs> it uh, I think I do okay, not as good as a lot of people, but my ass go potty. Um, but uh, it takes me a long time to edit. I'm not that good at it. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. You are doing well. I we found shorts kill our long form momentum. I found the same. We do some. Every once in a while, we'll do a short, and it links back to our other video. But um, it doesn't, and the watch time doesn't count either towards your. If you're not monetized yet, it doesn't count towards your monetization. I wouldn't want everyone knowing where I was on the road until weeks later. Think that's what. Yeah, we're we're always going to be behind on where we're at just for safety reasons. Yes. And like you said, it's just you, Matt. So you can, um, I can hear you. Uh, it's just you, so you can put even more spray foam, smaller space. Hey, David. Wait, what the pop? Party people. That's not much of a party. We uh I think we were late too. <laughs> yep. Thanks for coming in. Yep. Right now we are in Arkansas. Yep. Ian Jay's homestead. I I think you just heard me. I was I was a little late too. I was trying to get this uh freezing stream yard and I was trying to get it to uh I didn't know I was alive and everybody's saying they can hear me, so wow. Hello, uh, sorry we were uh, all honestly late. What does that mean supposed to mean? I just want to stay slide. Do you guys have any questions for us? Yeah. We basically went live because we were on, we were saying that once we got to 500 subscribers, we're going to go live. So we didn't really have anything planned except for maybe just interact with you guys a little bit. If you have any questions for us, just put them in the comments. But bus has come along nicely. Building inside stuff. Hopefully it's done soon. How is the sourdough? Sourdough is delicious. We're we'll about to stop building Sa stuff. In yep, building bus. something in the bus. Sa and we just got done with the fall. Yep. Sa sourdough. Wow. We had sourdough pancakes, cool. biscuits, bread, lots of stuff. How is the sourdough so food? Um, you got here right after I answered that. We're hoping in the next few weeks we'll be done. So in the next month or so. How long will we'll be you on the road? On your next adventure. Mm. Ah, uh, yes. So towed behind vehicle. So Monday, I'm taking it to a local fabricator in town. And they're gonna make a custom, uh, install a custom hitch and everything for me. So he said he should be able to get it done if I drop off in the morning all in one day. That was a question on if I had to leave it overnight. What have been your biggest challenges so far? Uh, yeah, the the demo. The demo? I wanted to make sure it was like everything was solid. Yes. So the uh, there wasn't even a lot of rust in the floor, but I spent a lot of time grinding all the rust up before I put a before I put a coating on. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I mean, the demo process, I just want to make sure everything was the way I wanted it before I started building. So that was probably the most challenging, I would think. I think it's easy just ripping stuff out of there, but it, um, it was actually more difficult than I thought it would be. Sourdough is the best. Yes, it is. Who does the cooking? Mostly my wife. <laughs> I cook every once in a while, but she's a far better cook than I am. She uh, maybe we'll show some pictures on a community post or something. She does a lot of baking too, um, lots of cheesecakes and desserts and stuff. So I'm I have a really bad sh sugar addiction, <laughs> and uh, she always makes me cookies and cakes. 
Thank you, PJ Homestead. Favorite place in Arkansas? We went to the we did go to the Diamond Mines. Um, I like trout fishing in the White River. That's pretty fun. Um, and then there's uh, the Buffalo River, and there's another uh, small little stream called Crooked Creek. So we like going out and floating on that. That's probably our favorite thing about it. There's a lot of you can get out there, and there's not anyone for miles and miles. Sourdough cinnamon roll recipe. Yes, I definitely did, need that. I did make some cinnamon rolls uh, maybe two weeks ago, and I just added some of my discard to it. So it was two weeks ago? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I didn't tell you I put sourdough in it. Matt said he looked at Alaska 411 cameras today, and so much snow is gone since the last time he looked. He's getting antsy to go. You want to look at the eclipse without your glasses? <laughs> no, if you watched our eclipse video, we went to some friend's property and uh, I kept asking people if they wanted to look at the sun without glasses. Joking, never never look at the eclipse. Or never, yeah, never look at the sun without glasses. Proper protection, unless it's totally covered by the moon totality. And if you haven't seen one, it's really amazing. I know why people travel to go see it now. I have to try something up soon for some rolls. Yes, post the video about some rolls. Definitely. How long did painting the bus take? Okay, so the actual painting didn't take very long. The getting it ready for this is back to the demo, and I include the paint prep in the demo because um, sanding it takes a lot of sanding. You have to take all. You don't have to like sand it down to bare metal, but you have to sand it down to where there's no shine on it. No the the clear cut they live on there, you have to take all that off. And then it seemed like it was raining all the time or and I was trying to spray the paint on. I've never used this paint sprayer before in my life. So don't ever try that unless you have experience um, doing that. I, I painted almost the whole half of the bus and it went on too thick. So then I go back and sand the entire thing again. And um, I didn't have all that on video or I would have shown, I showed part of my mistake, but I ended up rolling it on and the actual painting was only like two days, I think, but prepping it for paint was a long process. You know what kind of power system you're putting in the bus? Yeah, I'll be talking about that soon. Um, I have the the um, what I want to say I have the things to put in to, for 50 amp service, and then. We have, we're gonna put some solar on there too. I already got some of that stuff too, but I have all this stuff to hook up for 50 amp short power along with my solar. Now we're trying multiple shot recipes to find the right one. You have to, we've, we've done that before, we're trying to some different things from people's YouTube videos or just recipes online. And uh, sometimes you're disappointed. <laughs> so you don't wanna share that with other people unless you know. Matt says the eclipse is amazing, which everyone could see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we were in one in 2017, too, that one that came through. We're in a different area then. But, and I, people were talking about it beforehand. And I was like, yeah, big deal. I seen an eclipse when I was like in fourth grade. And I looked at the paper on the ground. This is only partial eclipse. And everybody's like, no, it's a total eclipse. You got to check it out. So after I seen it. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, that's not my thing. And, yeah. but once you see it, it's just. Yeah. I think most people, some people will see it and they're like, eh. Most people, once they see the totality, they they're amazed by it. Yes. Totality. Yep. Agreed. Hey, Papa Pepper, who dis? <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. He does a lot of gardening and fishing and stuff. Just check him out. What did you use on the floor of the bus? It looked really cool. Are you talking about the the floor coating? I'm assuming it's Jeremy on there. Is that you talking about the floor coating? Are y'all going live on the bus or live on the bus full time or just short shifts with? Uh, first, we're going to be full time. I'd like to, um, after we stop traveling, I'd like to probably keep it. Let's, right now, things change. Right now, the plan would be to keep it as a, as a camper RV, I guess.
I'm still researching a 12 volt, 24 volt. So leaning 24 volt. Yeah, I, I have a friend that's an electrician, and he told me that he would advise me to go. He's helping me kind of design my system. He advised me to go all 12 volt. Um, for simplicity purposes, <laughs> and that the 12 volt lighting, some certain other 12 volt things will have. Um, he said it'd be easier just to go all 12 volt. So that's I'm just going off of his opinion. Just me and Dora from work. You've been working a lot lately, every day. Thanks for coming in. Curmudge, Matt, 24 volts is best if not going to a 48 volt system. Yeah, so he's talking about the floor coating. So the floor coating, what was that? It was um, Chassis Saver. I don't know if you guys ever seen Chuck Cassidy. He does a bunch of bus build stuff. That's what he said he'd used, and he recommended it. It was, I think it was like $130 for a gallon. So <laughs> it's really expensive, but it was super thick, and it, it smelled horrendous, but it went down really well, covered everything. It, it did a great job. Gonna sit down for a fish dinner, cup, and with the children. Awesome. What kind of fish? Mm. How long do you plan on traveling for? Don't know yet. Till the tires fall off. <laughs> Just kidding. You need to step down for 12 ball stuff. Get more easy to install. I've done plenty. Wearing stuff in the house, but never a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going off of a friend that's an electrician. He's kind of helped me along the way, so I'm just kind of trusting him. So if it doesn't work out, <laughs> I can blame somebody else. Matthew said, I love your fishing videos. Papa Pepper. Yeah. Great videos. Hi, Monica. How are you doing? It's probably getting, I think I, I work with somebody in Louisiana. I think it's getting pretty warm down there already. Yeah, so let's fish soon. Float trip or kayak trip. Doing our first adventure on the bus will be. And we talked about the earlier. Um, it seemed like the consist consensus of people that were in here is we should wait until we actually leave and announce it. My wife wanted to announce it on a live. I wanted to wait and just post a video. So I think we're gonna do that. But it, it would definitely won't be where we're at now. You have adventures planned for the summer and what destination? Yes, we do, and we can't talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, David. <laughs> we can't we can't talk about it right now. It'll 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 ruin all these other people's plan for us. They all said to keep it a surprise. Yeah, so now we gotta keep quiet about it. Wanderers. If, okay. Some people here know and they shouldn't say anything. Yes. Secret. Everybody saying hi to Monica. Travel till the money runs out. Well, I work remotely, so. So forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get off road tires for the schoolie now. The regular tires for the schoolie are already expensive. I don't even want to know what that would cost. Hi, Alicia. Hey. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Pop up for steady caught red eared sunfish, bluegill, freshwater drum. All right. Have a good night. Enjoy your enjoy your dinner. Pop out. Rest. It's your rest. Yeah, I thought I thought so. It was ninety four yesterday. Remember last was it last week? You went live with the uh, the storms and stuff. The guy I worked with, he uh, said the kids' schools was all canceled and everything down there. Sharing Monica's channel. Listen to the wife. <laughs> yeah, I'd try to. But she wanted to tell everybody. She wanted to tell everybody where we're going. And everybody said not to. So everybody's saying don't listen to her. And you're saying listen to her. Yes, 94 is too hot. Too. It was like 80, 84 here a couple days ago. And I was out working on the bus and I thought I was going to die. I hate the heat. If it never got above like 72, 
I'd be happy with that. I'm more of a like 75, 76. I'm happy there. At 76, I start sweating just sitting there. I know. That's just me. Have any spouse? Have anybody? Yeah, so what do I do? She wants to tell everybody. What do I do? I can keep it a secret. Yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. That yes, really actually helps you. us out a lot. Thank you for mentioning that. And thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks for keep... everybody for coming in. That's awesome. Yeah, keep the heat down there. Well, I'm almost down there. So if they can keep it further down there, that'd be good for me. As long as I have decent internet, I can work. That's awesome. My work can't afford to lose me. <laughs> that's that's a better position to be in of a job that can't lose you. You're gonna use uh I get well you're a stationary, I guess, right now. Like when you when you make the trips up, do you use Starlink or something? Nope, you already answered that, and I just wasn't down far enough. A lot of people, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to need to order one, I think. A lot of people are liking it. Wonder, yeah. That's cool. We are keeping our next one. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you got to. And I see it's like some of these big channels, they're usually like weeks behind, and obviously for safety because there's crazy people out there. Yes, I definitely think that's a very good idea to do. Yeah, send some cold air down, please. It's like almost 80 every day here. I don't like it. Tires are expensive, yes. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but I think I had a stroke when I heard, so I don't remember because of that. Listen to the YP. He says he had one right outside my house. Not even a hint. I'm not sure of that. Uh, had one outside my house as I entered the live. I don't know. What'd you have outside? No, nope, we're not telling. I'm not saying. <laughs> it's been the 80s, yeah. I, I I can't. I just can't. It's summertime is not good for me. Because, like I said, over 72 and it's not good. Yeah, three feet of snow. We got like, like what, six inches of snow maybe this year? Total? Yeah, total. Yeah. For the whole year. It's not. I don't like it. It was 68 here. I had the windows and balcony. Man, you guys are lucky. I wish it was 68. P and J's 50s in New York State. It's not too bad. Don't worry, we're not telling Rachel. <laughs> it's a secret. I want to know too, we're nosy. Soon enough. At 40 degrees, we open all the doors and windows. Yeah, so 11 years ago, was it 11 years ago? Yeah, 2013 in March, we went up to visit some friends. Uh, he was stationed in Alaska. We only got five days up there. But we got to do some stuff. Went down to Seward, the uh, Sea Life Center down there. We um, went up to, was it Flat Top Mountain? Is that what's yeah. up at Anchorage? Um, but there was, it didn't feel as cold as the cold does down here. Like down here, if it's 19, it could feel terrible. Because the, I guess the humidity, but up there, in 19, I think he opened the windows because it got too warm in there from the wood stove. 53 today, just under three feet of snow. Wow, it's crazy. My wife is my wife is awesome. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Dee. You're awesome. Thanks for all your help with the sourdough. Kiwi man wants to know if anybody else is outside of the U.S. watching us. Because yeah, he's, in, I'm he's in New Zealand. I've always wanted to go to Australia and New Zealand. Maybe one day we'll get to go. Yeah, thank you, P&J Homestead. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Keep your windows open all year, even when it's 90? <laughs> I need to lever my position for more money. I do have a dedicated LT 5G. Okay. That's good. We had we tr used to travel 2019 to 2020 until everything shut down, and the internet we had was not the best. Yeah, sometimes it worked great. Sometimes I had to drive to the like the office of the campground or into town to a restaurant to use the internet for work. 
Thank you, Follow Alaska. I'm assuming it's Lynn. Using Starlink and love it. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they love it. No problems. Yeah, they're in Alaska. Lots of people are from Alaska. That's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess uh, technically it depends on who you ask, I guess. Our last Costco trip was seven some seven hundred something dollars, right? Seven fifty something like that. Seven hundred and seventeen and some cents. Fifty three. Go check and make sure I was see if I was right. The next one won't be as big because we got to fit the stuff in the bus. We actually need to go. We haven't been in a while. He thinks I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We do have un, we have under storage that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. So <laughs> if it's fifty here, then I have the fireplace going. Yeah, I like fireplaces. They yeah, take American money. <laughs> we were on a cruise one time, a long time ago, and they used to do these little talks before the cruise would get going about the destinations. And we're going to Puerto Rico as the first stop, I think. And somebody asked the person if they accept American money in Puerto Rico. And the cruise director didn't know how to respond to that. He was just like, paused for a second. It was like, well, they're a territory of the United States. So yes, they, they use United States currency all the time. Yep, Alaska, just like Hawaii is USA. Yeah. For gold nuggets and pelts. All the, all the Alaska people asking, or just saying it depends on who you talk to, whether or not they're in the United States. Thank you for that. She had to step away. I'll let her know. Thank you, D. Matt said, you have no idea how often tourists ask that if real people ask that question in real life. Well, Alaska says it's 43 there. D said she sent you some more recipe. Oh, no. Awesome. She sent the crystal, not oh. Chrissy. I was wrong. Sorry okay. about that. Now you got to send it to her D because I said you did already. Monica says she's going to pee in Jay's house. Because it's 50. You have to message me, Johnny. Tell me what your idea is. Snow is better than tornadoes. Yes. I've never been in a tornado. A lot of tornado warnings. But I've driven through the aftermath of a tornado. Matt said the coldest he's ever been in his life was in Brazil. One time it got down to just below freezing for a few days at 100% humidity. It was absolutely miserable. Worse than negative 36 in Alaska. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We, uh, like I said, we were never, I think the warmest it was was 19 degrees when we were there for those five days. A lot of days it was around zero, but it never felt that cold. We were at the Mall of America one time in February and the actual temperature was negative 38 and it hurt to breathe. I thought I was going to die. It wasn't. It wasn't like a probably anything like what you guys have. Yeah, they have like the tall warm the heaters that are outside. Yeah, the heat lamps above the and, above the bus station. It didn't do anything. Yeah. It's been negative seventy in the North Slope. That's cold. Yeah, snow is a lot better than tornadoes. Yes. Monica says she goes to Costco once a week and spends at least 300 a pop. Costco, take all my money. I swear. It's just so amazing. Yeah, it's hard once you get in there. If you don't have a plan and stick to the plan, it's hard because they are constantly rotating stuff out. And if you wait until the next time you go, even if it's only a week, that might be up top or gone or in the back and you might not get it. So I think they trick people. But yes, they, they probably do something to the duct work too. Like extra oxygen in there and make you feel better while you're shopping. Then, you don't realize and you spend the money. Is it start a club right here? You and Gary can start a club now. It would be fun to experience once. I'm not no, probably trying, not, I think about th tornadoes. Oh, um, okay. Trying to catch up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how far behind we are. I don't either. <laughs> Thank you, D. Appreciate you. I don't believe you, Mary. <laughs> Is hey. Madison is Madison watching though? She's our biggest fan. 
<laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yeah, and Mary is Madison watching because I know she's always watching. She's more dedicated than her father is. Hi, Sheena. Spend three hundred dollars at Costco routinely just for me. There's always things I want there. That's that's the problem. They 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 there's something they do that they just have stuff that you want. I'm not sure what it is. I'm like a little troll in Costco chasing all the gold. <laughs> I heard that Costco sells gold and silver bars or coins on their website. Actual gold and silver. Supply and demand. We decided what appliance you're using in the bus yet. I think so. We uh I think we're going with uh just like, well, we got a, a fridge that will fit in there. That it can only be so tall because of the, you know, the I mean, you know, because you have a bus. It starts to curve. So I have to that's the only thing I have to watch was with the fridge. So our standard fridge on that, just a little shorter. Um I could go bigger, but it would stick out in the aisle and the door would only open like this far. That far. So that wouldn't be good. And then stove. I'm probably going with a full size stove to lose some counter space. I think that's what we decided. I have to have an oven. Yeah, because cheesecakes. I will. I'll make a community post and share the pictures of cheesecakes. I have a problem. <laughs> Whose idea was it to get the bus and want to travel in it? I haven't seen. Um, we uh, I don't know. Was it, whose idea was it to get the bus? Was it both of our ideas? I think or it was both I think we just we seen them the schoolies on YouTube, school? and then uh, we decided. And then two years ago, before we moved in this house, we were looking for one, and we just weren't finding one. Um, so we just moved in here, but we well, started. I finally, I, it, we were talking about it for a long time and I was like, if we're going to do it, we got to do it. So I told them one day that I was giving them one month to find a bus or I wasn't, I changed my mind. We're just going to homestead. And it just so happened that the local school district that has a lot of money, they're really wealthy school districts. They uh, take awesome care of their buses, and they were selling one, so it just worked out. Kermudge said, good Lord, 300 a week. We spent 13 over six months. Yeah, that's why I said, if you don't go in there with a plan and stick to it, not good. Yep, not good. Do we plan on having any more kids? Another girl wouldn't hurt. Thank not you. <laughs> I want to know. Crystal, will you ban Chris from the panel section? <laughs> you can. Um, <laughs> We're kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I agree. One more girl. But, but listen, never have to. Just, we'll just move on. Well, I th think we're good. She's asleep. Well, let her watch it tomorrow, I guess. I, I was hoping to, that she'd be in here. Chasing the food samples. Yeah, like, I does anybody know, do they have a schedule of, like, what days? I thought they were certain days, but then I wasn't there one of those days, and they, it wasn't in there. So maybe it was just this Costco. I thought it was Sunday and Wednesdays, but. We seen them on Thursday one day. Well, they, I think they week. have them every day, but Sundays, the weekends, yeah. I think, are. The, There's been some days we've been in there and they haven't been. That's true. I'm so cute. This is the second person that called me beautiful today. I'm just lying. You've never been to a Costco? Oh, you have to go. I'm not sure exactly. Are you in upstate New York? I don't know if there's anyone. There might not be one really near you, but mm -hmm. if you go visit somebody or something, there's one near you, you should go check it out. We, I like it a little bit better than Sam's Club because um, it hits like they have more organic options. and I like some of their stuff better. The Co Sam's Club's okay. It has... I like Costco. I like both. Yeah. I like Costco. I had to pick one Costco. That's true. We spend all of our money on dog food and goat feed. Ain't no money for Costco. <laughs> Just buy your dog food at Costco. What about a deep freezer? We are. Deep freezer? Mm, what? I'd like to. I don't know. They, they sell, um, 
I don't know this. Well, they make like smaller ones, like almost like a like a cooler for camping, and you can make them either a freezer or a cooler. They're really expensive. I don't know. And they have just small deep freezes too, but I don't. We're just trying to work out all the space. Cheesecake. Oh, are you gonna say something? Oh, I was about to free. I was thinking maybe like a deep freeze under a counter, but the top of the deep freeze be part of the counter, and you just open the counter to get into the deep freeze. We I could, think that'd be kind of neat. We could do that. We'd just lose some cabinet space underneath. Cheesecake. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the pictures of the my favorite one, me personally, is red velvet cheesecake. Okay. I don't know if you guys have been to Cheesecake Factory, the red velvet cheesecake. Uh -huh. The one she makes is better. So what's your favorite cheesecake? Regular. And I have right. regular this problem with cheesecake. Yeah. He he didn't like cheesecake and then one time we Force, force some in his mouth, and then ever since he's loved it. Mm -hmm. Induction <laughs> stovetop <laughs> takes too much power. I think they did the same thing with us. So, I mean, when we're plugged up, it'd be fine, but we're running off solar. We have to hook up a generator every time. So, just here. PJ saying hello to Daryl. See, amazing cheesecakes. What's that? Oh, thank you, Mary. First time I had shepherd's pie was a Costco sample station. I ate lunch, one little paper cup at a time. <laughs> I've heard that a lot of people do that. I mean, I guess why not? I don't think some of them people care. Some of them do, but most of them I don't think they care. Monica says she has Sam's Club and Costco memberships. I do not go to any other stores. I would like to have both too. Yeah, I don't tell them I need it. I absolutely hate going to Walmart. It's uh, well, that's, that's that could be a different discussion. I used to work there too, as a manager. Yeah, not fun. Said Daryl's good. He gets got to the mine a couple hours ago. Gets come on Friday. Love to be hit. Sorry, we're late. Travel day for us. We can't wait to follow along and see how your bus turns out. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. I, you just got in here, I'm assuming. So we were late too, I think, by a couple of minutes. And then we started and we didn't know we we're actually alive because it didn't show up on <laughs> our phone. So we were talking, like wondering what was going on. One's enough. Yes, girls rule. The trap. She needs a sister. <laughs> My mom always said the one girl was more trouble than six boys combined. And there's that. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends I on the trouble. That. I'm team baby girl. You can have gender reveal. That's, that's we already have six children. What's one more? Seven. That's exactly. It, it'll be like we won't even know the difference. P and J, so that's awesome, Lynn. Week in time. Yeah, when are you guys going live again? Love me. said, love you, Christy. Love you. Little paper cups is how they serve the food samples, too. I had shepherd's pie. Oh, did I read that one? Was that going twice? I read that already, I think. You have to let us know what your favorite Costco items are, like what we have to have. So no Costco, I honestly don't shop too much. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Now I want cheesecake. I do too. I haven't had one in a while. It's been it's been a minute. No Costco for us either. Azure Standard and Garden Beat. Yeah, wow. we like we like Azure Standard too. It's, it's been a while since we got an order from them. Cheesecake. If we ever meet you guys in person, cheesecake party. I'll make sure I'll make sure there's cheesecake. I'll say. Well, Monica or Crystal <laughs> or Matt, they want some cheesecake. I used to want to convert a bus. I changed my mind and wanted to live in a tiny house. My husband is over six feet tall and said no, apparently. Yeah, because our bus, we're all short. I'm the tallest person. At like five, I was 5'10", but I don't think I'm 5'10 anymore. Um, our bus on the inside with the ceiling is 6'2". So not a lot of room. Actually, it's six one and a half after the flooring and stuff was added. Thank you. Walmart is the worst. Yes. 
I don't Everyone know. wants cheesecake, see? Walmart is the worst. I just sent him. I sent him with a yeah. list. Uh, could you imagine six kids in Walmart? See, now uh -huh. Monica's going to buy cheesecake tomorrow. The place she drives by. Hey, Boyd Family Adventures. The Boyds. Definitely check out the Boyds channel. We love the Boyds. Yes. Thanks for coming That's in. Awesome. Or else. Cheesecake party at your house. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm all for it. Thank you for stopping in, Wanderers Chasing Horizons. Yes, thank you so much have, for coming. Have, have a good night. Never been to a Costco. Need to go. Wow. I think you can, I think uh, you can just go and they'll let you in and let you walk around without a. I don't know. Some of them, some of the Costco's, those, they're like. Uh, well, they're you don't have pretty strict up there. You don't have like, to have a membership to their food court. That's true. So. Sneaking that way. Cheesecake at Lens. We are in. Stop saying cheesecake. Yeah, check out the Boyd's channel. They uh, they just got done with their bus trip. They converted a, their second bus, I think. I still work for 25 years later at Walmart. Yeah, I had to get out. I'm sorry. Too much, too much stress. Good. You're looking good, Matthew. Was crap. So this is bad. Apparently, everybody's going to lend. Or follow Alaska's for cheesecake. Green cheesecake. Seven is a lucky number. I'm going to stop with those. <laughs> Seven kids is a party, especially when they all start having their own kids. My parents' house is a bit small now. I'm yeah. really loving you all right now. Just keep going. Keep it going. It's almost time to end it. Every time you make a comment on a video, end it with one more. One more girl. I want another sister, but you can never have Yogi's probiotic snacks make grown men run after them. Kids love them. I'm not sure. Is that is that a Costco? Is that, are you telling us that's a Costco, Monica? Hey. Say hi. Say hi. Hey. Oh, say hi. Everybody's going for cheesecake. <laughs> Yeah, you shared some pictures with with uh, yeah. D. I yeah, did. We'll, we'll make a community post and share the pictures of the cheesecake. Just, I guess my favorite is red velvet. Like the classic's good too, just New York style. We can remake the old TV show. Eight's not enough. <laughs> oh, they were saying we could remake the TV show. Eight is not enough. We we'll keep going. Kiwi man says. New Zealand has one Costco, but it's too far away from me. Is it uh, I'm a, is it in Auckland, I guess? Is that where the Costco is there? I'd have to do a roof raise if I did a bus. The nice thing about travel shows, I can, yeah, you can order one with a higher roof. We, some people try to get me to do a roof raise, and I could order this stuff and do it myself, but to even ordering this stuff myself would have been pretty expensive. And I was, just didn't want to do that. It's a long way to drive for five gallons of mail, yeah. Yeah. Grocery delivered to your house. I don't know if I'd trust this Walmart to deliver anything to my house if you're talking about Walmart. We've done the where you pick them yeah, up. Pick up. And, yeah. Even then, they're to eat your stuff and it's not. Cheesecake with the chocolate curls on top. That was good too. Good to give you up. Yeah, the Boyd family's in their own bus conversion. Kiwi man, we come at, we, he found us on the Boyd's channel. We watch them all the time. I think you should have another, one more. If we start a GoFundMe, maybe. Go where? I have another kid. GoFundMe. Seven kiddos sounds great, Kenny. One more girl. Aren't they cute? She is. She is cute. I think she looks like me a little bit, so I call her handsome all the time. I say she's the hand, most handsome little baby ever. Handsome. <laughs> you can walk around without a membership. However, Costco is about to start making people use Costco membership card to buy from the food court simply because people abuse the free walk around. Yeah. 
Because you can walk in that way to go to the food court, and there's nothing stopping you from getting back in the store. So, and then they also big big crackdowns. They did crack down. People would be like, "Oh, they're with me," or whatever, you know, or swipe their card twice. People used to do that, and they stopped that too. Lynn, do you want to donate a cheesecake as a prize for the meetup in July? Asking for a friend. I think she said yes already. I didn't read that far, but I'm just guessing. I I have seen this. Yes, Yogi's at Costco. We'll check it out. Sometimes at the Costco we go to, our friends go to a different one, and they said that there's stuff there, and that we don't have it at ours. So. There's only three ranks of cheesecake. Good, better, and best. <laughs> Can't go wrong with cheesecake. One more never hurts, except for my wallet. No problem. That's more important than comments. Costco's in Auckland, yes. I'm at the bottom of North Island. So it take 12 hours to travel. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's worth that. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing yeah. that either. Not worth it. Looking forward to seeing you, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for stopping in. Yes. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a good night. Grandbabies are life. One day. One day. One day we'll have some. I think she was referring to uh, Lynn's comment. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't forget the thumbs up if you haven't. Yes, thank you. We appreciate, appreciate all it. the thumbs up. Odds are it won't be a girl just saying yes. The odds are not in our favor. Five to one. I that... mean, I'd be okay with either. I'm just putting that out there. I'm studying Alaska. It's been a while since we since I made one, but Daryl is not going to complain. If, yeah, see, he just got to practice. He wouldn't mind practicing. If you practice the cheesecakes, he's not going to tell you. He'll just say oh, just do a little something different, maybe. Or you say if you say you got to change a little something, he won't even care. Hey, my, she's not happy. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Trying to catch up. Yeah, our Costco video is our best video, or, or only good video, I guess. Almost 10,000 views. A lot of people like watching. There's some channels dedicated to Costco shopping. I think those people spend like every day in there. All right, good night. Have a good night. I think this, I think it was Gabe. I do too. Every year on my birthday, I ask for red velvet cheesecake. And she usually makes everybody the cake they want for their birthday. So I th I think it's the red velvet every year. One year, I think I got a carrot cake. It was pretty good, but I prefer the red velvet. Not sure which one's my favorite. It'll make it all the way there. You just gotta bubble wrap it. <laughs> now we're old. Okay, I don't know about that. Yeah, we're <laughs> old. <laughs> Baker's dozen. Monica said, "Just think of all the sweet grandkids you have. I have one yeah. grandchild." Boy, does she, you know. I, I, even my oldest is 15, and I think about that. I, I just think it'll be great. Grandkids. Yep. He says practice makes perfect, more or permanent. The more you bake, the better it gets. Let's try it. Have to do a short with y'all with the cheesecake. Yes. Yeah. We can do. Good idea. We can do a whole video of us eating a cheesecake. I can see the whole thing. Cheesecake. Yeah. Is is this a uh, what? Oh no. No. Is this uh is this your Reeve crystal? Is this somebody else? Rooftop ACs? No. I mean if. Now, if somebody's going to send me them, I will. If somebody's going to be like, here, will you, you know, put these on there and make a video about it? I will, but I can get a mini split somewhere local, brand new, pretty cheap. Yep, I guess that. You guys done with your outhouse yet? 
I don't think I'm buying on videos. I don't think you've actually finished it yet. I make goat cheesecake. Does that make me cool or weird? That's cool. Yeah. I'm assuming it just tastes like regular cheesecake. I bet that's really good, actually. Reef her cheesecake here in for it now. <laughs> So do I, Johnny. I'm gonna when this live's over, I'm gonna start seeing what we need to make a cheesecake. See, he's been asking for cookies because he's seen somebody talking about cookies on their channel and yeah. eating cookies. My, yes. <laughs> and he's been asking for those. Because I see somebody making somebody else cookies on their channel and somebody else eating cookies on their channel. And I haven't had homemade cookies in a while. But now it's gonna be cheesecake. Oh no raisin. My favorite. Cheesecake cookies. Sounds hmm. good. That sounds like a... Do I plan on traveling through British Columbia anytime? I would love to. That'd be... I've, I've, I've never been to Canada, but I've seen people drive or video the drive through British Columbia. Numerous people. It looks amazing. I have a friend that used to live on Vancouver Island when he was younger. I've, yeah, oh, the furthest north we've been is Yellowstone or, well, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. I'm not sure which one's further north. Let's see if you're... All right. Oh, good night, Chris. Good night. Thanks, thanks for, for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Who else, is going to the, who else is going to the live after the stores? Well, I'm going to go to the fridge and see what we have. As far as ingredients, mine having stuff. I remember my kids saying, "Mom, can we go to McDonald's?" And I was like, "Even though it's not good for you, well, on my grandkids." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. That's totally gonna be me. Yeah. McDonald's is expensive now. Man, I can't believe how expensive. We just like stopped eating out because it's so expensive. Yeah, I started making like uh, the copycat meals. If yeah, if we do go, it's like Chick Fil A or something, because it's like why would I pay McDonald's price if I can get Chick Fil A or something? But we did find a really good recipe that tastes almost exactly the same. It's Chick Fil A. Yeah. So, oh. sorry guys. I think she's worried she's gonna fall, but she's not really. Outhouse is still just a hole in the ground. <laughs> That's a fancy looking building you're building there, though. If you guys, most of you guys probably ever watched, but if you haven't, check out their outhouse build. It's like uh, you could like have a loft up there with a bed and like live in it. It's really nice. This Crystal's Farm Cheesecake is awesome. Do you have a video on that? I'd go watch it just to, just to see it. Cheesecake Bake Off. Have a collaboration with all these channels making cheesecake. <laughs> I can stir the pot when I want to. I don't believe you. Next step for the bus. So earlier when I first got, so we're building stuff now. It's insulated, floors in. Uh, so we're, we're building stuff. Um, I got to go to Home Depot and pick up some stuff with electrical. I'm going to start doing that too. I'm not sure exactly... In what order I'm doing things, I'm just building stuff. And as I think of something else, I'm doing it. I'm not really, I didn't plan it out well, I guess. Yeah. My mom makes delicious oatmeal cookies. I love oatmeal cookies. That's my favorite. The yeah, alcane and the cat. Yeah. One day, I hope to. Can't compete with goat cheesecake. I'm going to have to try it. I'll try and eat cheesecake once, twice, maybe even. She's said Fall Alaska has to make the cheesecake because she's booked with cookie requests for the next 412 years. Hey, if you're like Matt, then you, uh, 
you have security in your job. Too much snow in Alberta, Canada for my limited YouTube viewing. It gets uh it gets brutally cold there, I think. If the boy just don't hear they can comment on that. They sell some sauce at Costco that tastes like Chick-fil-A. Is it a is it Costco brand? My husband put that sauce on his chicken salad last or tonight. It was absolutely delicious. I wouldn't have never thought. Yeah, I, I bought some chi or Chick Fil A sauce, like the big jar of it at the store before, and I put it on stuff I didn't think I would, like a burger. Are you buying cabinets? I'm gonna DIY them. Cheese. I think. I mean, you can tell me your opinion. I think that'll work better to DIY them because you can customize them for the space that you have. That's my thinking anyway. Nickname the first live stream is Cheesecake. Yeah, the Cheesecake Live. Good night, Alicia. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, good night. Have a good night. Good idea. I did it. Yes. I think we're finally caught up. Golden Girls Cheesecake. <laughs> I used to watch the Golden Girls when I was a kid because my grandma watched it. She got me to watch that and, uh, that's how I got hooked on pro wrestling when I was a kid. My grandma, she watched soap operas. She had like this elaborate, this is back in the VCR days. She had like multiple VCRs, like all set up to record all of her stories, all of her soap operas. And they record wrestling. And whatever she couldn't catch live, she would uh, watch on the video. And then she would make sure she had the tapes rotated and watched everything. And so at night, if it was uh, days of our lives, I would get to watch that. <laughs> or pro wrestling when I spent the night at her house. Good for adults. Fun for kids, but for adults. I'm not sure what do you mean. The boys said they had snow today. Oh, wow. In Alberta. Baba! Yep, it's not, not spring yet. Oh, something else. We still need to name our bus. We have a couple names out there. So if you guys have any names for the bus, you can drop them in the comments here. And I'm, I'll make a, a post with a picture of the bus asking for Different ideas. Maybe we'll do a poll on it. Yeah. Love DIY cabinets. Excuse to buy more tools. And I actually, I was going to borrow a pocket hole jig for my friend, but I think I might buy one. Good night, Monica. Good cheesecake night. and babies. Just cheesecake. Thank you. Matt says cheesecake. Cheesecake for the win. In almost an hour, we can stick it back too long. I know I'm Sourdough Brown is eating now. That sounds oh, good. Oh, that does sound good. Old Blue. Oh, uh, yeah. The kids want to name it Bluey, but I don't want Disney to snoot for Sumi or anything. We could just spell it differently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matt, AK, everyone needs a pocket. Everyone does need a pocket hole jig. That's why I'm just going to buy one and take <laughs> Big blue yeah. cheesecake bus, the cheesecake bus. <laughs> we had a 15 passenger blue van, we called it blue after the dog and blues clues. We even had a blue plushie attached to our femur. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could just I could have multiple stuffed animals and just keep replacing them, put them on the as like a hood ornament, see how long they last. On the side of the bus. Yeah. I just need all the, I need all the tools too. Batmobile. The Batmobile bus. Mm -hmm. Instead of the cheese wagon, it could be the cheesecake wagon. That's a pretty clever. Don't forget the YouTube decal channel on the back of the bus. So our our little logo, I don't know if you see the logo up in the top corner up there. I had a local print shop. This is almost a it's kind of a funny story. A local print shop. I wanted like the logo I can put on there and I peel it off and only the logo with the word showed nothing else behind it. And they told me it was ready and it was it was delayed from what they thought it would be. So they gave me an extra one. I ordered a big one for the back window of the bus and it was like a vinyl clean like cling on thing like decal. So I have two of these like giant vinyl decals I was putting on my car. Well one of them is a lot of pollen. I gotta clean that side off to attach the other one. But I do have 
the decal ordered for the back of the bus have the youtube on there the big blue zoo big blue zoo <laughs> that's good you said I you like were that. monica you said you were going you just couldn't help yourself trying to see if we're gonna agree to more babies keep big it blue coming. zoo keep it yeah coming. there'll be a zoo if we have more kids stay in and keep telling i don't know if y'all take more babies more babies gotta stop this <laughs> If you call it the cheesecake bus, you might have people lining up expecting cheesecake for hey, sale. I mean, if they'll buy it, I'll sell it. Blue Lightning is it's, it's not fast, but driving at home, it's the Ozark Mountains, you know, like they're not really mountains, they're mountains. It um it did it kept its speed pretty good. A lot of people say they slow down, but it did pretty good. We have friend. Hi Lauren. I didn't see you in here before. Oh. We have friends who just listed the number of their children on license plate for their big van. I was going to get a custom license plate, but I didn't think it'd be back in time before we left. I'm going, going. <laughs> All right. No, don't go. Good night. Bluey the cheesecake bus. I like it. You just said you're leaving. The blue caboose running <laughs> loose. Don't leave. <laughs> what I engine? Want you to leave. Engine our bus. We have. It's the International 7.3 turbo diesel, so it's like the four power stroke. It's not exactly the same, but it's really similar. Good night, Mary. Good night. Make sure Madison watches tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's past your bedtime, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for staying up for us. Hi, Lauren. I can come work for Chrissy's Cakes. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, one of our sons does this cartoon with Tayo, the blue bus. Uh, he wants to name it. Yeah, Matthew has been saying Tayo the whole time. Yeah. I like the idea of blue or blue and then tying stuffed animals to it. Yeah, that is a good idea. I've been jonesing for an old 7.3 Super Duty recently. Hard to find one that's, yeah. Ours was in really good shape, actually. I don't want to, we knock on wood. Um, it's only got 92,000 miles on it. And it's a 04. And the mechanic I used said, you're going to find leaks, that all these things leak, and usually you have to replace this stuff. And when he looked at it, it wasn't leaking. So, and the stuff that he said should be replaced was already replaced by the school district. So, yeah. Anybody else have anything for us? Uh, we can shut it down pretty soon, so we're not keeping our body. Yeah, we like Bluey. We just may have to spell it differently because yeah. we don't need Disney. I don't need Disney us. trying to take me out. I don't know. I probably shouldn't say stuff like that. Old Betsy. Bluey Mobile Cheesecake Blue Bus. Or <laughs> Bus Blue. Bluey Mobile Cheesecakes. Uh, I think our bus needs to be Old Betsy because she takes her time. <laughs> I like that. Old Betsy. Did you guys ever get that finished out the way you wanted? You can name the bus Hi Ho after the Seven Dwarfs song Snow White. It's pretty good. I like we're, that. We're going to consider clever. consider all names. Yes. There you go. Yep. There you go. Bluey. That's it. Yeah. Yes. They can't get us then. Still in progress. Still in progress. So is ours. I'd like to see a, Louis, yeah. a picture. There, yeah, that's good. Yeah. There you go. I like that. Good one. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully she's not bothering y'all. She wants to come get her. Oh. She's pretending she's going to fall, so mom will get her. Yeah, she's laughing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think we caught up on the chat. I don't see anything else. I have a, 23 people says still there. So if you know this, don't answer. How long do you think we've been married? Yeah, if you already know. Put the guesses down there. If you already know, don't answer. But it's going to ask you guys, how long do you think we've been married? How many years? Thank you. Say hi. Bluey. Hi. Bluey. Oh, yeah, I like that too. Bluey. Hamster Huey and the Gooey. <laughs> Chewies, yeah. 
Six, 16 years, says Lynn. Say hi. 20 years, says Ace. <laughs> 15 is PJ. 20, love to be hitched. I'll wait a couple seconds here. People get their votes in. 12. Our, our oldest is 15. Come on now. I was a good child. Just kidding. 18.5. 22. 14. 13. Any more guesses? Thank you so much for this much fun. 21. All right, oh, drum, drum roll. Oh, 21? 16? It was 20. 20 years. Oh, it'll, be, it'll be 20 this year. Yeah. We're almost at 20. In August. You know, yeah, almost there. 20 years. Good job, Ace. A couple people said it. Uh, love to be hitched. A couple people were close. 22. So, yeah. All right, well, it's been over an hour. Five. <laughs> Five. Now. A little bit longer. But maybe we only, we don't look old enough to be married 20 years. Maybe that's what he's saying. It's the camera. Kiwi the camera makes me look younger. Are you all tired of us yet? We've been on here an hour and 11 minutes. 20 years. It'll be 20 years. If you guys get tired of us, let us know. Yes. Yeah, we can hop off here in a couple minutes. I don't want to yeah. keep everybody. Hopefully we. It's the beard, 100%. So I, I said on another YouTube channel, they, they featured us in a video when we were first getting started. We were only at 125 subscribers. That if we ever reached 10,000 subscribers, that would shave my beard off to clean shave it on a YouTube live. They could go watch that video. Our, ours is the 21st. Oh yep, I already I'm I made it. It's public, so it's public. the the beard. It's gonna. It's I haven't. Don't ask how long I've been married. <laughs> Old people. Um, we uh. Now I need to know how long. How long, D? I I I, I the last time I clean shaved was like ten years ago. I think it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's, it's been like this. I, I mean, it's been a little longer, but I keep it trimmed about this length um, ever since. So most of my kids haven't seen me with no facial hair. Oh, right, thanks for coming, P&J. Yes, Have thank you so much. Good night. On the 23rd of this month, we'll be getting 43 years. That is awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. The 23rd of this month. Happy early anniversary. Oh, almost. That's 3 p.m. Thursday in New Zealand. Yeah. You're always a day ahead. Life's fun when we... Re Reef says I think 100,000 would be okay to shave Matt 10,000. No. no. Well, I think it'll take a while for us to get there, so I'm not worried. He's 37 married in July. That's awesome. I'm head of the store before it closes and eat cheesecake for some reason. <laughs> He's only a teenager. Good night, Matt. Have a good night. We're going to hop off here in just a minute, I think. It's a big shock to little kids today. She has a beard, yes. Right, saying good night. Daryl gets mad because his beard won't grow longer than it. I thought mine wouldn't grow longer because somebody told me that it only grew up like. Facial hair, beard only gets to a certain length. That's not true for me, anyway. Everybody's saying goodnight to Lynn and then. Okay. The kids said I looked like an ugly girl when I shaved. Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember when you shaved, I was like, what happened? He's like, he's like 30 years younger. Thanks, D. Thank you. And I, I think we're going to head off too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on our live. We appreciate all you guys stopping in and asking us questions. It was a good time but uh maybe we'll, we'll do more lives yeah thanks for being a moderator crystal i appreciate it so all right good night everybody good night see you good next night. time bye
find us too, Reeve. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.